So let's talk about Lamar's progression the other day and after watching the film, kind of what you thought of the game. Well, he did some better things passing the ball with, you know, his drops and timing and the way, you know, he carried the ball and throwing in the right spots. He did do some better things, but it's just a work in progress. You know, um, he did make some mistakes also, but, you know, he did put up better numbers and do a much better job in the passing game. What did the video look like? What, what was that film study like, Sonny? Um, you know, it was, you know, I, I'm not quite sure of the question. What do you mean? It, it, was it was it a pleasant thing? Did you see good things? It, was it was it worse on film? Was it better on film, do you think? Uh, no, most of the time you get about, you know, you see it, you know about what it is, but it's, you know, it's never good when you lose. You're not looking for any moral victories at all, but um, there were there were steps forward at certain times in the game. I did, I mean, like I told them yesterday, when they scored to take the lead right after halftime and then we went right back down the field and scored, that was an impressive drive for a couple of reasons. Um, one, because we did mix it up. We had some run and some pass. Reggie was able to make some plays for us, moving that ball down the field. We found a matchup with James Quick and punched it in. And then, because we didn't, when they scored, we didn't back off or we did not, um, you know, pout or anything. They really kind of, you know, decided to, that we needed to step up and try to go get back in the games. And that was impressive to me. How would you evaluate the offensive line? I thought they did a pretty good job for the most part. There were some, they gave us some things on third down that were, pretty exotic, some line games, and they had some pretty good guys running it. And um, they got on the edge sometimes and gave us some pressure, but I thought they did a good job. Keola did a really good job for us being out there. He's physical. Um, he really enjoys playing football. Um, he brings a level of toughness to our offense that we need. Bobby talked yesterday about the consistency on the line, and you know now that you kind of have five guys that you know early on it was a lot of moving in and in and out, but that you've got guys you stick with, they're, they're going to get better, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Um, you know, I think not just as an offensive line, but as an off you know, offensive 11-man operation. So just the consistency throughout the game is important. You know, neither, um, you know, one guy making a mistake, then another guy makes a mistake, but just we consistently perform at a high level. That's what we're all looking for. It's pretty evident that they didn't want Lamar hurting him with his legs. He had a big passing day. Um, is, is that, I mean, kind of what you strive for? If a team stops one, will attack with the other? Uh, well, no, I think that um, it's just kind of the way the game went. Uh, I don't know that they um, did anything, you know, different than they've done in the past to take his, you know, take him away. I think what they saw was that, you know, Lamar had been producing most of our rushing yards. So probably their plan to win was to slow that down. Um, you know, but you just, what you have to be on offense is balance. You got to run the ball, run it, then play action and use your drop back passing game to convert third downs. And if you can keep that balance, it really keeps the off the defensive coordinator and the defensive front off balance. So that's what we're all looking for. How does Boston College stop the run? Um, they stop it by having exotic um, run game stunts. Um, they got two big physical defensive tackles in there that are tall, big, thick kids. Um, they have defensive um, ends that are very aggressive. They have a middle linebacker that uh, we played against last year that's a very physical player. It's hard to lead block the kid. He, he will stop the, you know, when you try to isolate him, he will, you know, stop your fullback in the hole. And so that's the main part. They have really good personnel in the interior of their defense, and then their, their schemes, their, their run-stopping schemes are very impressive. Do they require you to, to pull in a fullback because, because they stunt so well, because they stop the run so well? Well, you just got to do what you got to do in that situation. You know, it's just you got to kind of play the situations of the game, you know, how they go. You got to see where you are, um, see where the open spots in the defense are based on the formations that you're in, find the open run spots and run the ball, you know, into those spots regardless of what personnel group you're in. How does James build on that performance that he had Saturday? James Quick you're talking yeah. about? Um, well, you know, he's at the point where we're not um, – trying to motivate him anymore. He's old enough now that, you know, he, he's he's going to motivate himself. Um, he understands his role on our team is to be, number one, our leader, and number two, a guy that is going to produce explosive plays for us. And um, I think he's accepted that role. Bobby yesterday talked about Reggie and just maybe start using him even more and even more. What kind of a versatile weapon do you see him becoming? Well, I think he's a um, just tremendous kid, tremendous athlete. Um, Tremendous competitor. 
Uh, him and Lamar are really good friends. They really enjoy being out there together. Um, and then I think that Reggie just really wants to do whatever he can do to help us win. Just whatever it takes to win the game, um, you know, he's four. And that, that's just a just an amazing kid. Being young, so young, I mean, he's still a young kid. I mean, what kind of presence does that give to the team when they see this guy jumping in at any position and doing a good job? Well, Reggie's one of those guys on our team that they all, you know, Reggie's kind of in the middle of everything going on in the locker room. and. You know, so they all, I think it has something to do with him coming in last year with the way the season went for us last year with him having to become our starting quarterback and doing well, helping us win. Um, then he obviously had a huge tragedy throughout the season, so our team rallied around him. So everybody loves Reggie. Everybody knows that, you know, Reggie's the type of guy that, you know, just really wants to do whatever he can to help us win. It is pretty amazing the year he's been, you know, since the Boston College game really last year, right before that, the year he's been through with his dad and with the up and downs and with everything to where he's at right now. Um, well, great family support. I think it helps that he's from here because, you know, most of his family is here in town. I see him at the hotel night before the game, just, you know, talking, making sure he's, you know, doing well. Um, his mom spends a lot of time here. Um, just a tremendous lady, always focused on Reggie doing well in school first making sure that he has not forgotten what the reason he's here. And I think that's what keeps him grounded, keeps him humble. And then um, he's just a really good football player and just has a commitment to our program, wants to see this program do well. What was your, uh, what was your relationship like, or how do you, how do you remember his dad from, from the recruiting process? Or um, he was a really um, good guy. You know, I spent a lot of time with him. Um, Note when he, when you bring his name up, I it just start smiling because of, you know how he was, um, just always telling jokes. Just all he always said, make sure you take care of my son, and he's gonna do a good job. He he always had confidence that Reggie would end up doing well. A lot of kids, they are stubborn when you want to make a move like that, right? As a quarterback, I mean, you've seen it over years that we want to maybe put you in a different role, and not all kids would be accepting to that. Uh, yeah, I think that's true. Um, kids that. Um, I don't want to use the word selfish because I don't think that it's always that a kid is selfish that he doesn't want to move. But Reggie is a little bit different that, you know, this program means more to him than the position that he's playing, that he wants to see the program do well. He wants to see us win. And he feels like that he can get out there and help us win any way that he possibly can, then he's all for it. Um, and he also likes walking around telling people that he's the best athlete on the team. He <laughs> plays every position. He plays quarterback, running back. That's probably a part of it also. Adjustment period of coming here and learning the system and getting to the point where you are now. Oh, the adjustment, it's a, it's a blessing for me to learn this adjustment. It was, it was kind of hard coming in. It, was, it took a long time for me to get the, get the offense down, but it turned out pretty good halfway through the season. Did you think it would take a while, or were you surprised maybe when you got here of how long it was it was taking it? Yeah, I, I was kind of surprised because growing up, I didn't really have that many plays in my playbook. But now that I came here, there's a lot. There's a lot to learn. I know you, I know it was a loss, but were you pleased with your performance on the line the other day? Was it a step in the right direction? You feel like? I mean, the the team, man. A loss is a loss to the team. We're a family, man. We like we take the loss as for everybody, not just for the offense or not just for the defense. Well, Bobby said that the bye week and these two weeks in a row working together really helped you guys in particular. How did you see the development go those two weeks? Yeah, it was pretty good for us because it gave us some time to to get to learn how to communicate with each other. What was you know, what was an example like? You know, you felt like you didn't. Take, taking some time to learn the system. I mean, would you would you not go on the right count or not block the right way or how would you do it or what was an example of how that would how that would take place? Uh, I think I just go like the wrong way on some plays. That's because I didn't know the offense really well. But sitting with my teammates, my the rest of my old linemen, the quarterbacks helping me, everybody. What was that? I mean, what would that be like when you would go the wrong way? I mean, what, what would go through your head at that time? I'd just be like, damn, I messed <laughs> up. <laughs> Yeah. But there I messed up. I moved on. When people did, talk about the, talk about you, they talk about toughness. What, uh, do you pride yourself on that? Yeah, I, I would pride myself on that because growing up, my brothers always, you know, get on me about stuff when I did something wrong. 
it was just it was just crazy how that happened, how it just worked out like this. Is that the source of the toughness, older brothers? Yeah, my older brothers then taught me right. How many brothers you got? I got three brothers. All older than you? Yeah, oh, and one little brother. One little brother? Mm -hmm. Where are you so from? Is he the toughest of the bunch? <laughs> nah, I don't know. <laughs> he getting there, he getting there. Where are you from originally? I'm from California. Um, what's your what's your ethnicity go back I'm to? I'm Tongan. Tongan? Yeah, in the Pacific Islands. Is that where, uh, um, but you, weren't, you were born in the United States? Yeah. Right. Where, 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 where's Pio from? Is he from there? Pio's from Tonga too. Yeah. That's, he, his, his ancestors and stuff is back home. Uh -huh. His family is from Tonga too. But we all grew up in the Bay Area. You know him growing up? Yeah. I played rugby against him. Rugby? Yeah. He was nice. <laughs> <laughs> How, he was uh, nice. So has he been your friend for a long time? Or I mean, yeah. He, I mean, he's, we went to the same Juco and I played a year with him uh -huh. when he came back. but. I mean, he's doing good now. It's nice to, nice to be up here with another teammate that I played with before. So is there anything about rugby that transfers to football or similarity? The, the toughness, definite the toughness. It it teaches us a lot, man. Rugby is a fun sport, but I don't know. It's just I can't explain it. What did you play in rugby? I played outside center. Uh-huh. Yeah. What did he play? Do you remember? Bill played outside. He played inside center. Yeah, so sometimes I lined up against him, sometimes I didn't. Ever try to convince the coaches here that you can run the ball? Yeah, but uh, I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> what, how, how do you expect this line to get better in the next couple of weeks now that you guys have got five guys that are playing most of the snaps and, and, and you get more used to each other? I mean, now it's, now it's just the communication between us. Like, we all have good chemistry together and stuff. Like... I have a, uh, like Tobiah, I call him Uncle Tobiah because he takes care of everybody, our center. And yeah, they just, it's just good for for us to like work together and communicate on the line while it's loud and stuff like at Florida State. Kill, when did, uh, when did you arrive on campus? When did you enroll? Uh, I arrived in May, the end of May. Okay. Yeah. Um, what, the, what other, uh, you know, what other schools had your recruiting process go? Like, how, why'd you end up coming to Louisville, and what other ones did you consider? And think? I came to Louisville because I knew there was like the atmosphere around here. It was just great. I, I couldn't like, I couldn't picture myself anywhere else. But I didn't take any other visits because I knew this is the, this is the one. Did uh, Pio tell you that too? I mean, did you stay in contact with him through yeah, the recruiting I, process. Yeah, I stayed in contact with him, but like majority was on me and my parents. Was that a, um, I mean, it's a little bit different, the being a, uh, I don't know, I mean, being a... Being on this side yeah, of the world? Yeah, yeah. Uh, It's a little different, but, I mean, it's nice to have, like, other Polynesian brothers, like the Honor brothers and, and Bill. It's nice to have them, but, you know, I'm on a, I'm on a mission right now. So, we just, I just got to, I just got to come out here and do our thing as a team and stuff. Were you, uh, um, you know, going through... You know, did it? Were, were you expecting to, to kind of be starting earlier than I guess than you have now five weeks in? I mean, was it was it something that was disappointing all to you? Or? I just think like they just didn't have trust in me because I didn't know the offense really well, and I put that on myself because I didn't learn the offense fast enough. I, I didn't stay overtime to to do my like study and stuff. But yeah, I I put that on myself that I didn't get to start early enough. Do you, uh, you know, how do you kind of describe yourself as far as like, you know, what you can do or why you feel like you're a good lineman? I mean, I feel like, like all my teammates, if we work together, we make each other good.